Well, the Singapore government is warning of possible renewed terrorism threats as borders reopen post-COVID-19. These could come in the form of foreign fighters returning home or travelling to conflict zones like Ukraine. All these have implications on uh, Singapore uh, being one of the countries that uh, some of these uh, organisations would target and would want to uh, affect or uh, share their uh, propaganda or even their perspective about how the world should be uh, run and how they want to share uh, or get into the minds of Singaporeans. Dr. Faisal was speaking at the annual Religious Rehabilitation Group Retreat. The RRG rehabilitates radicalised people. In a pre-recorded video, Senior Minister Teo Chi Hien talked about the incidents last month when Indonesian preacher Abdul Somad Batubara was denied entry into Singapore. At the time, Somad's supporters held protests outside Singapore missions in Jakarta and Medan. Mr Teo said their allegations of Islamophobia are unfounded and that Singapore takes a zero-tolerance approach on hate speech. But while hate speech can be prevented from physically coming to Singapore, it cannot be fully stopped online. Besides countering online threats, the RRG is looking to expand its engagement with young people. We thought that uh, due to the new challenges and threat, we are looking into uh, uh, involving you know, youth from the grassroots. Uh, they are the non-Muslims, uh, so that they can also understand Islam and also understand the context of living in a multiracial uh, uh, setting in Singapore.